Hello, we're going to be looking at pie charts and probability today. So let's look at a simple frequency table. So let's say this frequency table is for the eye colour of students in the class. We might have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes and hazel eyes. Here's the frequencies. If we add these frequencies up, we get a total of 24. Okay, so maybe you could think now, you could pause the video and see if you can work out what angles each eye colour should represent. Okay, what should the angle in our pie chart be? Okay, having paused the video, I'll go through the solution now. So if you can pause the video, please pause it. Okay, so we can say that 24 people represents 360 degrees. Okay, this means that one person will be 360 divided by 24. So one person, if you do that calculation, 360 divided by 24, <clears throat> will be 15 degrees. A good way to do 360 divided by 24, you could do, if you were doing it in your head without a calculator, you could do 360 divided by 6, which would give you 60, and then 60 divided by 4, because 6 times 4 is 24. So divide 360 by 6 and then divide 60 by 4 to give you an answer of 15. Okay, so each person represents 15 degrees. So, if we're looking at the blue, then to work out how much 7 people represent, we do 15 degrees times 7. 15 times 7 is 105 degrees. Now, if you were stuck before and now no longer stuck, maybe fill out the remainder of the angles. Okay, so green would be three lots of 15 degrees, which is 45 degrees. Brown eyes would represent eight lots of 15 degrees, which is 120 degrees. Hazel represents six lots of 15 degrees, which is 90 degrees. Now, what's nice about this, if we add up the angles in that column, 105 plus 45 plus 120 plus 90, we'll get a total of 360 degrees. Okay? That's how you kn you'll know if you're correct. We could draw this, okay? If we have a circle, maybe you should draw a circle, try and make it equal. Um, if you do a sketch, I don't mind too much, but an accurate circle would also be nice to get you to practice using your protractor. Okay, so we know that 90 degrees will represent um, hazel. We could do another 45 degrees to represent green. We could then do 105 degrees to represent blue, and then the remainder will be 120 degrees, which represents brown. So fill in the angles and fill in the colours. Okay, so that's how we answer this pie chart question. Next. Let's look at a different question. Let's look at a probability question. Okay. So let's look at a spinner. A spinner um, is a circle with an arrow. You spin the arrow and whatever it lands on is what you get. So let's say the spinner has different coloured sections. Let's say it has a red section, a yellow section, a blue section, a green section, and a black section. Let's say that we know the chances of landing on red are 0 0.1, the chance of landing on blue is 0 0.2, and the chance of landing on black is 0 0.4. I'm going to write some questions down now, and I'd like you to make sure these questions are in your book. Okay, so question one. The probability of the spinners landing on yellow is the same as it landing on green. Complete the table. So that's question one. Question two. If I spin 300 times, how many times would I expect to get black? And finally, question three. What might the spinner look like? Okay. So there are three questions that I'm going to start looking at. So, question one. If you haven't written these questions down, maybe pause the video to write them down. If you feel like you can answer some of these questions, maybe have a go at answering them, and I'll go through the solutions in a moment. Okay, question one. Firstly, it's important to note with any probability that the total of all the outcomes is one. Okay, we know that the total of all the outcomes is one. Okay. So, we could, we could say that 0 0.1 plus yellow plus 0 0.2 plus green plus 0 0.4 
is going to equal 1. The total of all the probabilities, the red, the yellow, the blue, the green, the black, is going to be 1. Okay, so the things we know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.4, if we add those together, we get 0.7. Okay, so 0 0.7 plus yellow plus green is 1. So we know that yellow plus green is equal to 0 0.3. Okay? Yellow plus green must be 0 0.3. We know that yellow and green are the same. So to find out the probability of yellow or the probability of green, we have to divide 0 0.3 by 2. 0 0.3 divided by 2 is 0 0.15. We could instead say we want to find a half of 0 0.3. A half of 0 0.3 is also 1, 0 0.15. Um, a half of 0.3 would also be the same as a half times 0.3, which is also 0.15. So to fill in the table, we fill in yellow as being 0.15 and green as being 0.15. That's the answer. Next, question two. If I spin 300 times, how many times will I expect to get black? Well, the probability of getting black is 0.4. What is 0.4 as a fraction? 0.4 as a fraction is 4 tenths. So, four-tenths of the time, I would expect to get black. If I spin it 300 times, then I'm trying to find out four-tenths of 300. Okay? That's what I'm trying to find. Well, what would one-tenth of, of 300 be? One-tenth of 300 would be 30. So, it makes sense that four-tenths would be four times 30, which is 120. So you would expect to get 120 spins on black if you spun it 300 times, four-tenths of the time. You could also say that 0 0.4 is the same as 40%. So if I worked out what 10% was, it would be 30, and then 40% would be three time, uh, four times that 30, which would give you 120. We could also just do 0 0.4 times 300. This would give us the same answer because 0.1 times 300 is 30 and 0.4 times 300 is going to be 4 times bigger so 0.4 times 300 would be 120 ok so let, that's it for that question, the answer is 120 let's look at part 3 now I'm not going to go through the whole of part 3, what I'm going to ask you to do is complete this after I've given you some hints and then we'll look at your solution in the lesson So. Let's think about this. What will the angles be? Okay, what will the angles be that represent red, yellow, blue, green, and black? Okay. If one hole is 360 degrees, one hole is 360 degrees, then 0 0.1 is how many degrees? If one hole is 360 degrees, then what does 0 0.1 represent in terms of an angle? If you know what 0.1 represents, you can work out all the other probabilities and the angles that represent them from that. So I'm going to, that's my hint for you, and I want you to use that hint to work out the angles and to draw a picture that represents this spinner. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in school.